Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a long range modification for a 2.4 GHz radio control system. Now, to do this modification, you're going to need a few items. The first item would be a 2.4 GHz Wi Fi signal booster like this one. You could get such signal booster on eBay for about 70 USD. In this case, this is a 5 watts booster. But when I tested the output, it's actually closer to 3.5 watts actually. So once again, it's an overrated product from China. But it does work really well in increasing the range of my Wi-Fi at home. And it is comparable with the FreeSky transmission and the DSM2 transmission or similar types of spread spectrum radio waves. So it's going to work for most radio control system. The other items you need would be the pigtail, this is the SMA, female, and the other end is the male. So why do you need that? I have actually cut off the end here and use it over here on my radio. I hope you can see it clearly. So I cut that section and I solder it to the radio module inside. This way you could attach any kind of antenna to your radio system and you also have an output to the booster over there. The other items that you will need would be a mounting plate for the booster. This is a 1.5mm thick carbon sheet that I've cut out. You would also need the mounting brackets. In this case, I'm using the Tarot boom mounts. Basically, these are boom mounts to hold the booms of the quadcopter in place. You have two of them in a packet, which is great because you could clip these two onto the stem of the antenna on your radio. Like this. And it holds on really securely. If you don't want it to come out, you could use the plate here like this, drill four holes, make sure the holes line up and you could attach four screws and it will hold the plate very securely to your radio system. You would also need four holes at the corners so that you could screw on the booster to the mounting plate which then goes on to your radio system the booster comes along with the 5 dbi antenna to enhance the range further you could use a hobby king 7 db patch but take note that the beam width is actually only about 70 to 80 degrees so Try not to fly too far out to the sides or you're going to lose the radio signal. Now the thing is the coaxial that comes along with the booster is kind of short. So it's not long enough to go all the way to the source. So what I've done here is I have made my own extension cable or rather my own link which has the exact length that I need from the source all the way into the booster so this is long enough and I made this out of RG316 coaxial cable one SMA female Basically, I cream them onto the cable, and then the other end would be the SMA with the pin in the middle. So you could make your own cable, or you could buy a longer coaxial cable from eBay. I'm going to go ahead and put on the mounting plate and the booster. And after that, I will show you how it looks like. 
Alright, this is how the completed modification looks like. The booster is mounted here. And the back looks like this. It's very secure. I've installed the Hobby King patch for enhanced range. The coaxial goes all the way from here to the source. I've also added a switch here so that I can turn off the amplifier. This way I could fly line of sight like my MCPX and if I want to fly FPV I could turn on the extra long range ok let me test the radio link to make sure that it is working Looks like it's working. Yep. Power off. That's all. Thank you for watching.